What's up? All right, so we're back again, and this one is the beginning of the traits uh, for the AI. All those tutorials. Uh, this one will be about the bonus health. So yeah, this is now irrelevant completely. I mentioned it in that video how uh, I would hope that one day 343 would add a way to just increase the health, um, and they did. So here we are. So that video is no longer necessary, completely irrelevant, and no need to look at it or that method ever again because this just fixes it. So let's get right into it. Okay, continuing from where we left off on the how to set it up video, uh, let's jump right into it. So we have the setup from that video. As long as you watched it, you're in a good spot right now. All we need to do is go into AI trait uh, bonus health. That's what we're going to be doing since we're going to be adding health. Go ahead and plug in the trait here. And the scaler, we're, this is how many times health it is. If you do zero, they either instantly die or they have like a pixel of health. I can't really remember uh, on that. I haven't tried it uh, all that much. Uh, but the rest is pretty self-explanatory. This one would be like 1 20th of the normal health. Um, and then you go up to default one. And you can get as high up as 10 times their normal amount of health. And uh, once you see, when we test it out, you'll see that, yeah, they have a lot more health than normal. Yeah, it's not really doing anything, but there's one problem that uh, this suffers from, just like every single other thing involving their health. Yeah, the unshielded enemies that have a head headshot hitbox are still susceptible to being one-shotted with a precision weapon in the head no matter what. And I've got a shielded enemy here. Their shields are also not affected by this. You can see the health is though. The problem with the shield is we still do not have a node that allows us to change the shield of an object or a unit. So unfortunately there's two downsides. It is A, the uh, shields are not able to be affected currently um, at least not in a direct way. We'll get to that in another video, though, that kind of emulates it. Um, and then they, when they're not shielded and they have a headshot hitbox, then they will still get one-shotted. So that's just, uh, it's the downsides, but it's okay because you can still have them have a lot more health than normal. And yeah, I thought about it. I thought about trying this to see if I could double up on that or uh, do it exponentially. It doesn't work it gives them the exact same amount of health as if you did it just once 10 times. Where did I put that thing? Oh, okay, so yeah, that's it. That's how you get the uh, increased health, which allows you to create more uh, boss-related AI, and you can give it to any specific AI you want, all that good stuff, um, and those videos will come later, how to apply like specific traits to specific AI only, all that good stuff. This is just to get you started on uh, just generally applying traits. So this one was the first one in this uh, long line of videos. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next one.